Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So many people nowadays will eat um, a restricted amount of food each day, uh, either by cutting their calories or by uh, sometimes replacing um, carbohydrates or dense foods for vegetables, things like that. And there's obviously all kinds of things. Um, you can get like appetite suppressors. You can get obviously people drink coffee and things like that, so they don't need to drink as much. Uh, sorry, eat as much food. Um, now, in my experience, calorie restricting and um, cutting down your calories really, really, really doesn't work. Um, on the basis that the more you calorie restrict, the more you have to calorie restrict. It's basically a vicious cycle. So, if you find yourself cutting yourself to maybe 1,600 calories, um, eventually, in in the short term, you might lose some weight, but eventually, this will have some kind of knock-on effect, and eventually, you'll hit a plateau and you won't actually be able to lose any weight. And then you'll find yourself having to cut 1,400 calories. Then, after that, you'll still be in some kind of plateau as well. And then you'll find yourself maybe cutting to 1,200. And eventually, you'll just have to keep going down. As what will happen is your metabolism will go down and down and down. So your body is, is basically designed to survive. Now, if you start giving it less food, your body's immediately going to think, oh no, we're in some kind of survival situation. You know, we've got to uh, become more efficient. How do we become more efficient? Well, in girls, one of the ways to become more efficient is to turn uh, services off, such as the period. So often what will happen is the first thing in girls, they will lose the period or and the sex drive. Same with men. Men might not be able to get erections. They might start having the hair fall out. They might... Um, start gaining weight even because the testosterone just flies down obviously the sex drive can come down your energy levels and um, because your body if you're not receiving the amount of calories your body will want you to become more sedentary um, so that you uh, relax a lot more so you'll find yourself uh, wanting to relax more you'll find yourself tired and and just like reaching for the coffee and the stimulants and things like that so um, what I'm gonna say now is obviously these these are things that happens when you calorie restrict. Now, in my experience, if you want to lose weight, it's better, uh, a better and more um, long-term way is to increase your metabolism. Now, if you increase your metabolism, you can continue eating the same. So let's say you start at, let's say you start eating 2,000 or 2,500 calories a day, right? Um, I'm, I don't know whether this is a girl or boy, whoever, but let's just use these generic amounts. 2,000 calories or 2,500. So let's say you're eating 2,000 calories, right? Uh, and then you think, oh, I need to lose weight. I will cut down to 1,600. No, what you want to do is if you want to lose the same amount of weight, you increase your metabolism to 2,400, but carry on eating 2,000. So what you could do to increase your metabolism, you could um, build, build a small amount of muscle. Now, if you're a girl, I'm not saying you have to build bulky muscle, and girls cannot build bulky muscle anyway, unless they are on male testosterone hormones. Um, as for a man, obviously, men can get bulky. Um, if you just simply want to stay lean, then do um, HIIT workouts, uh, more reps, you can do cardio, you can do running, you can do swimming, cycling, all of these kind of things. Um, and like I said, if you're a man and you, don't, you, and you actually want to gain muscle, you can just start working out calisthenics, weights, things like that. Now, eventually, um, I'm not saying tomorrow or next week or whatever, but building muscle will, in the long term, increase your metabolism because what will happen is your metabolism will go up to ex keep existing the amount of muscle that you have. So your metabolism will rise. Also, being active through the day. If you are very active through the day, you're fidgety, um, you, let's say for example, another great thing that I found is if you um, commute everywhere by bicycle. So for example, if you need to um, cycle to work, uh, if you need to go to work, instead of using a car, using the bus, using a taxi, or, or driving or however, you um, get on the uh, bicycle, ride to work, or if it's close enough, you could walk to work, jog to work, however. But the main thing is you're getting moving. So as soon as you do that in the morning, your metabolism ramps up. 
then throughout the day your metabolism's high so I would always suggest as well a morning workout now a morning workout really sets your metabolism up for the day followed by a good breakfast and that will keep your metabolism high however during the day if you just are active in the morning and then by the afternoon you start being just lazy and relaxing uh, eventually your metabolism will start to come back down so this is why after I've had breakfast and relaxed for a few hours in the afternoon after my breakfast or brunch as I have um, I will find that I will go out again for a run or for a commute whether it's picking up groceries or something like that and then my metabolism will come back up high again so basically my metabolism is high all day so I'm not at the point where my metabolism is so low that I'm um, gaining weight or anything like that I can I'm at the point now where I can almost eat as much as I like every single day and I don't gain any weight if anything I'm, I'm on a losing streak uh, with, with weight so uh, my tips for you if you want to lose weight long term I would say look into increasing your metabolism so you can increase your metabolism so many ways just a bullet point exercising um, whether it's just once a day or whatever, um, staying active through the day, uh, building muscle, whether you're a girl and you just want to build lean muscle, like doing squats and having like little weights and doing things like that. Um, obviously, uh, cardio, so whether it's cycling, swimming, running, uh, rowing, ho however you want to get around, um, or even skiing or something. So you can obviously do that. Um, I would say as well, um, Eat, eat, you know, eat good, good amounts of calories a day. Don't restrict. So if you have an appetite one day for um, a good appetite, and I mean a true appetite, uh, one day, fulfill that appetite. Don't allow your body to be in a starvation mode because that's how your metabolism will come down. So keep your metabolism up by eating the correct amount for your body. Now remember to listen to your body and see how much it needs. Um, exercise regularly. Stay active. If you feel like you can't stay active and you're in an office job, there's ways that, that you can s stay more active. So you can get a bicycle under the desk, a small mini bike, and um, you can sit on a fitness ball, which means that all day you basically like trying to balance. Um, obviously, you can try and take a walk around the office every one hour to, or 30 minutes or however often to try and get water and just do like a lap around the office or something like that. Fidgets. You know do do whatever you can to stay active and then obviously even if you do have the office job you can cycle there and you can cycle home um, there's, there's not I mean unless it's snowing there's not really an excuse if it's raining you can get uh, wet weather clothes things like that so if you want to increase your metabolism without calorie restricting these are my best tips I hope you found this video helpful let me know what you think about it in the comments below give this video an upvote and I'll see you in the next video everyone